Welcome back. In this video, I'm going over an ultimate guide to the new business and LLC business filing requirements that you might have heard about through what's called FinCEN, which is a department of the US Treasury. I'll be covering all of the common questions people are asking about this filing requirement, and I'll be showing you exactly how to do it yourself on the FinCEN website. We'll cover are all LLCs subject to these reporting requirements, what a beneficial owner report is, who is exempt from filing this beneficial owner report, what happens if you don't file the beneficial owner report, are you really fined $500 a day, how to file, how do you determine if you're a beneficial owner, and how to actually file the report on the FinCEN website. So let's jump in and I'm gonna break this down step by step in this ultimate guide. Before we get started, if you're new here, my name's Amanda, you're watching The Business Finance Coach on YouTube. I'm the creator of the Master Your Accounting and Taxes program, which helps small business owners end confusion and overwhelm and organize their finances using our unique spreadsheet templates. I have a free workshop called The Five Biggest Mistakes That Business Owners Make, when trying to set up their accounting and save taxes. And that free workshop gives you some great tips as well as shows you our spreadsheets and our system. So check that out if you're interested in getting help, getting your business finances set up right. Now let's jump into this ultimate guide, simplifying the new business filing requirements with FinCEN. To give you a little bit of background information about where this came from, this was a new law that was part of the National Defense Authorization Act and included in it was an Anti-Money Laundering Act and part of that was called the Corporate Transparency Act. And the Corporate Transparency Act is what we're talking about when we talk about this new business filing requirement with FinCEN. Now the purpose of this law, Corporate Transparency Act, CTA, was to prevent money laundering, tax evasion, to make our financial system more secure. And our system is really secure. It's so secure we often take it for granted. The problem is that people set up businesses that own businesses that own businesses that own businesses that own businesses, that own businesses to kind of try and hide ownership. So this law requires FinCEN, which is a Bureau of the US Treasury. It stands for Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. FinCEN. And this law requires FinCEN to keep track of who actually owns businesses. And they do this by creating this new registration for businesses to report who the owners actually are of the business. Now, many businesses are exempt from this reporting, bigger businesses, because they're already reporting this information to the treasury through other outlets. Therefore, this will affect a lot of smaller LLC businesses. But in short, all this is is a really quick annual filing with the FinCEN website, which is essentially the US Treasury, stating your contact information for who owns your business. So this is similar to business registration with your state. But because of how our country works, it does make a lot of sense to me that we are doing a federal filing. So what are the LLC reporting requirements? What is a beneficial ownership information report? So the requirement is to file an online BOI, beneficial ownership information report. That's what FinCEN calls it for their beneficial ownership information registry. There's no paper version or form number like at the IRS. This is called a report, but it's something that you're going to submit online. If for some reason you're not able to submit online, certain types of businesses may fall under that category. You can contact them. This is FinCEN's Small Entity Compliance Guide for the Beneficial Ownership Information Reporting Requirements. So I'll be referring to this as we go through the questions and you'll find it linked down in the description below. Who has to file the LLC Beneficial Owner BOI report? Are all LLCs subject to the reporting requirement? So first of all, FinCEN uses the term reporting company to describe if your business is required to file a BOI report. 
If your business was formed by filing paperwork with a state, your legal entity, then you are required to consider if you need to file this report. Basically, if you're a corporation, an LLC, or a partnership like an LLP where you filed paperwork with the state, then you're a reporting company, meaning that you need to take the next step to look at if you need to file a BOI report. You can see that's what this diagram here on page two of the guide is showing you. Now, one thing I wanna clarify, I know that when business owners elect S-Corp status, they often think about their business as an S-Corp, and I didn't mention S-Corp. However, S-Corp is only a tax election. This is a cheat sheet from my courses, and you can see on the left is legal type of business, and on the right is tax type of business. So every business is two types. The legal type of business comes first, which is what we were just talking about. So the S Corp you can see at the bottom is only a tax election. You're choosing how to tax this legal type of business at the federal tax level. So in general, to be able to make the S Corp election, you would have had to have an LLC or a C Corp. So who is exempt from this BOI filing? There are 23 specific types of entities that are exempt and do not need to file a BOI report to FinCEN. Something to know is that this list isn't saying that these business types are automatically exempt. There's more details that follow that lay out the specifics related to businesses in these industries. And I think it's worth talking about an inactive entity because a lot of people may have LLCs kind of laying around that they haven't done anything with. So an entity qualifies as being inactive if it meets all six of these criteria, which means that the entity was in existence on or before January 1st of 2020. The entity is not engaged in an active business. There's no foreign ownership. There's been no change in ownership over the tw last 12 months. And number five is that the entity has not sent or received any funds in an amount greater than $1,000, either directly or through any financial account in which the entity or any affiliate of the entity had any interest in the last 12 months, and the entity doesn't have any other assets, whether in the US or abroad, including other businesses. So as you can see, this is an extensive list that really it could just be easier to just file your LLCs with the FinCEN anyways, so that you don't have to worry about accidentally not qualifying. So when do you file the BOI report? So if you formed your business before January 1st of 2024, then you actually have until January 1st of 2025 before you need to file your business registration. However, if you form your business after January 1st of 2024, in 2024, you have 90 days to file this FinCEN report, file your registration. And it's 90 days from when your legal business entity, like an LLC, was confirmed and set up by your state. Basically, it's effective date. Now, in 2025, you'll only have 30 days to file this registration after your state registration. But for 2024, it got extended from 30 days to 90 days since this is a new requirement. I think that you're gonna find that this FinCEN requirement is something you'll just be doing at the same time as setting up an entity with your state. Okay, so what happens if I don't register with FinCEN and I don't file my BOI report? Willful failure to file your BOI report or to file intentionally wrong information can result in civil or criminal penalties of up to $500 per day, imprisonment for up to two years, and or a fine of up to $10,000. So anyone involved can be held responsible, meaning like the owners of the business can be held responsible, anyone who's shown to have ownership, we'll talk about that, uh, next, so what is the rule for this beneficial ownership in FinCEN? How do you determine who's a beneficial owner? 
So after you determine that your business is a reporting entity, you need to identify the beneficial owners. And a beneficial owner is anyone who, one, has substantial control over the business, regardless of if they're a technical owner or not, or who owns at least 25% of the ownership interest in the business. So substantial control is defined very broadly. It's if you meet any of the following four criteria, right? The person could be a senior officer. The person has authority to appoint or remove people in charge of running the business. The individual is an important decision maker and they go through all sorts of decisions or any other form of control. So this is very much a catch-all, and this is really broad, and to me it's saying if you have control, it doesn't matter you know, how you set up the business for the purposes of setting things up. All that matters is that you actually have the influence, then you're gonna be held responsible as a beneficial owner. I'll just answer one other question. What is a FinCEN identifier? It's for beneficial owners or businesses can register their information with FinCEN and then they get a unique identifying number that they can use on their FinCEN reports so they're not having to provide all their personal information. It's just to make it probably smoother and faster. It's not really keeping anything private per se. Okay, so to file the report, we're gonna head over to fincen.gov forward slash BOI. And this is where you're gonna get started to file the report. You can see, we can get some basic information and over here we file a report using the BOI e-filing system. I'm gonna go over this in the next video. I'm breaking this video into two parts. So check out that next part of this video. And I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below. Let me know if this helped, if you still have any questions. I hope we've resolved all fear about this filing requirement and that you can get out of the way and move on with your business. Remember, if you need any help with your business accounting and taxes, do check out that free workshop, the five biggest mistakes that business owners make when organizing their accounting and saving taxes. I'm sure you'll love it. There are some great tips in there and it goes over my Master Your Accounting and Taxes program, which uses our unique spreadsheet templates and my help to help you get organized. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. Like or share this video, and I'd love to see you next time. Bye.